principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and wicked spirits. Wicked spirits in high places, which mean places of authority. To paralyze a nation, lead a nation astray. This book said when righteous men, well it's Proverbs 29 too, when the righteous is in authority, the whole nation rejoice. When the wicked bear it rule, or the wicked is in authority, the people mourn. That's why we need godly leaders. Can somebody say godly leaders? We need godly leaders. But in analysis, in final analysis, every time Israel or Judah had a righteous king, it blessed the nation. The whole nation prospers. The whole nation get protected. The whole nation come under the canopy of the blessing, the anointing, the favor, and the power of God. And God says, Solomon, if you will obey me, if you will obey me, huh? throughout your reign, no nation, no king, there shall be no wars start up in the heart of kings to come and fight against you. But if you don't keep my commandment and my statue and you don't obey me, then you will be destroyed. And with that promise, when Solomon came to being, no king from no country came to fight him until he wanted to have so many thousands of concubines and women and get corrupted. And the Bible said, outlandish women turned his heart from God. Are you still sitting there? Are you following me? Give me away. But when you live for God, whether you have plenty money or not. The American theory today, you have to have plenty money, new cars, posh homes, then you are a real man of God. I don't read this in this Bible. A man's life, Jesus said, does not consist. And some of you know more English than I do. A man's life does not consist <laughs> in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Our lives are not in things. Are you getting touched by God? Tell your, tell your neighbor. Our lives are not in things. If your life is in things, my life is not in things. I use things. All the things that I have and are there to my heart, they're not mine, the song says. They're borrowed for a while. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my life. So when you see that old shiny Cadillac car come and park by the church, no, it's just to help me to get there. The ride is better than a donkey. It keeps me. I went to Washington yesterday, came back in the night by 9.30, had a meeting to help a couple that lasts till 2 a.m., went to bed at about 3 a.m., and still near to 80, next month I'm 80, I'm still here trying to speak with life, that you wouldn't say, well, the man got old now. He can hardly speak. And you start to speak nonsense. I'm more active than most young men in this church, if not all of them put together. I have something to shout about. But I need to have Israel had a righteous king, God bless the nation, and the whole nation is affected by the standards and teaching of the godly king or leader. Nothing can mess up a nation and our generation and use by the millions than a leader of a nation being immoral, ungodly, non-God-fearing, disrespecting the Bible. Are you with me? It spoils a whole nation. Somewhere, the church of Christ around the world has to get past color. Yes. Get past 
who is Republican, who is Democrat. In Africa, we say, get past Troy because they kill each other because their man is not ruling. Try in their bones. Take some time over 30 years for them to decide to use the power of the cross to crucify that carnal nature, the be Christ nature that's not governed by race, color, and tribe or caste system like is, has plagued India. We're battling with that over there. Hindus of high class, Hindus of low class. We're battling with that there. 